Oh my. That's just gonna be my name, Garrett. Oh my, Wong. That's a, okay. How's everyone doing today? Yes. Awesome. Was anyone here for the panel with uh, Marina Backer? Yes. Oh, I was just told that all guests that are being interviewed should be sitting on that chair. You should be sitting on this chair. It's better for camera. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> But we're all good now. So please put your hands together for Mr. Johnny, Johnny Young Bosch. Where we? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, you come this way. You come this way. What's up, buddy? How are you? There's your uh, your microphone, right. and you can put your helmet. There we go. Yeah, awesome. Do you carry Hello. this with you all the time? You do, I right? do, yeah. I usually have that in my uh, pants. Is that? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, is that the actual one that you wore on the show? That then? is not the one that was worn on the show, no. No, okay. But it looks it's a, exactly like it. Do you have the one from the show? No, I don't actually. They didn't I tried to take it. it, but they didn't, no. You sh yeah. See, I don't, people oftentimes ask me, and you probably get the same question. People will ask me that don't know about conventions. They'll say, so when you go do Q&As, so you're dressed in your Starfleet uniform, right? <laughs> and I go, N hell no. no. I go, number one, they never gave me a Starfleet uniform. We had 18, 19 different you know, suits. They didn't give me one. The only person that had one was Kate Mulgrew, who played the captain on our show. She folded it up on the last day, stuck it in her bag, and walked off the set. <laughs> And I thought, oh, why didn't I copy Captain Janeway? Five finger discount, right? So, I, yeah. Yeah, you should have done that. You should have. And so nothing was given to you from. Nothing was given. <laughs> do, you, do you have this? You do have I the have suit. stuff. You do? I have stuff, yeah. What but, did you, uh, can you tell me? Well, what, there's, tell uh, the, I don't, there's a planet Hollywood in Florida, uh -huh. if it's still there. Okay. But as you walk inside, there's like my costume from the movie. Yeah. But it's missing the medallion. Oh, so it's just the costume I without the medallion. Okay. Yeah, so so the, I, I took the, the medallion. Yeah. You, did you take it from Planet Hollywood or did no, you take it no. from? That would be been hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he's, like, like, he's like, it's me. Just I'm put sorry, this guys. Yeah. It's That's mine. good. <laughs> I wore this. <laughs> it's mine. I can take that. That would have been so funny. Yeah. The waitress would have been, uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so you have the medallion. That's the I one. I have the thing. medallion. I have a few other things. My communicator. Cool. So you do yeah. have a few your mementos. Yeah. See? I did have a few other things like boots and gloves and all that, but a long time ago I signed them and gave them to people. So they're gone now. They're gone. Yeah. You'll always keep the medallion and the and the uh, the wristband. Well, I, I've misplaced them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do have. The, I know where the communicator is. But uh, it's yeah. going to be some storage war show. They're going to open it up. Oh my God! Wow, all it's right. a Black Ranger medallion. There it is. Yeah. Okay. It's about the same time I lost my other cat, <laughs> which I was trying to think about. What happened to my cat? <laughs> all right. So in, on IMDb, it's very, very short. But you have January sixth, nineteen seventy-six, Kansas City, Missouri, as your yes. birthplace. Okay. Yeah. How long did you live in Missouri before you moved? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Did you go to uh, high school? I think it was, uh, let's see, it must have been four, something like that, yeah. five. No, it was probably four or three, maybe. Oh, so we you moved, moved quite a bit then. We moved, yeah, we moved a couple times. We moved to Texas. Okay, I really grew Texas. up in Texas. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, that's where I went to high school, and that's where I was going to go to college, but instead became a Power Ranger. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Did you take martial arts in Texas? I did. I studied martial arts. Shaolin Kung Fu is what I started with. In and Texas. they had a Shaolin Kung Fu school in Texas. They, yeah, them. it was like the only one. Yeah. No, because like, uh, literally, I lived in, Me we talked about this backstage, right, I yeah. lived in Memphis, and in Tennessee, I looked, being Chinese, I was like, I better study my Chinese martial yeah, art, which right? is Kung Fu, yeah. and there was no Kung Fu schools at all. It was, it was rare. just Taekwondo. So Everywhere I went was Taekwondo, Taekwondo, yeah. Taekwondo or like Shotokan everywhere. Karate, whatever. Yeah. So you well, had it. Go ahead. Yeah, mostly it was Taekwondo, and I, would, I didn't want to do Taekwondo. No. Not that I have anything against it. Right. So but, where, uh, how did this Shaolin Kung Fu master end up in Texas? Like, what was the... You know what? I don't know how he ended up there. <laughs> but still, <laughs> but you he, would... Yeah, I mean, he studied... Uh, my grandmaster was in Chicago. Yeah. And he studied there and moved to Texas yeah. for whatever reason. But, uh, you know, I would go to all these 
schools to try to find a martial arts school, yes. you know, and I would see Taekwondo places and then they would show me like, you could be like this guy and yes. I'd watch the class and there's one guy who's amazing and everyone right. else was just like, mm. horrible, yeah. you know? And uh, so I just kept looking. I finally found a Kung Fu school. That's awesome. And everyone was awesome. Oh. You know, I was like, oh, this is the place to go. You're so lucky. I'm so envious of you. Yeah, right I know. Now. I never got to take Kung Fu and I'm Chinese, you know, it's like, <laughs> this is not good. In Tennessee though, right? Yeah, Tennessee. Although the cool thing is, my master at my Taekwondo school was Master Kong Ree. Master Ree was the teacher of Elvis Presley, actually. So oh. that was the one kind of cool. Yeah, that wow. was really nifty. So Elvis uh, was a student. Elvis gave his first the guitar that he recorded his first album with was record with was given to Master Ree. Um, no he way. gave his first. Uh, he had a limo, a, a big, huge limo. He gave him a limo? He gave him a limo, too. Yeah, what? it was amazing. Master Ree, have the limo. Master <laughs> Ree, have my guitar. That's yeah. awesome. It was, pretty, it was pretty darn cool. Wow. Um, our martial arts school has a logo, which is uh, the letters TCB with a lightning bolt in the middle, which stands for taking care of business. And that's on the back of Elvis's plane. Yeah. And a lot of people miss... They they kind of on the internet if you type it in people say oh that's Elvis's Memphis Mafia uh, logo like it's him and his buddies <laughs> but it's not it's straight from our martial arts school so. oh it was did from you, the school yes it was from the school did I've you seen did it you often. guys have uh, a logo for the Shaolin Kung Fu school uh yeah it was like a dragon and a tiger I like that <laughs> do you have that tattooed on your body anyway no okay. I I've thought about getting a dragon and a tiger See? that'd but be then, hardcore yeah but then you know if you're on camera yeah they, they, they don't like that, that. yeah. Makeup artists tell actors, never get a tattoo because it's so difficult to cover, basically. Um, we have a microphone set up in the center of the stage here, so please do not be shy. Just come on up there and you can just ask your question. And look at that. They are not shy. The entire <laughs> no, okay. room gets up. Yes, we're all going to ask a question. Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> Make them good. <laughs> Johnny, what or did you Garrett will go run and punch yeah. you. <laughs> First question, yes. Hi, hi. Um, I have two questions, if that's okay. Um, my first question is, you play a lot of characters, like some are, real, are like the good guys, like Ichigo, and they're really heroic, and then you play Izaya, who's not. Um, but like, what's more fun to play, like the heroic character or the Izayas of the bunch? Uh, you know, it depends on the role, you know, and you could probably say the same thing. Like, bad guys are a lot of fun. But uh, you know, it really depends on the character and the and the role. Because sometimes you get a, a even a hero, and he's got a lot of emotion, a lot of things to play with, you know. But then again, you get a lot that are just like very shallow and kind of like, oh, he's got a special key that controls this thing, and he's got a power. Yay! Okay, it's all the same. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it really just depends on you know the the, the show. But Isaiah was awesome though. I love Isaiah. He's a bit of a douchebag, but. <laughs> It's awesome. And he won't get, he keeps on missing the projectiles, which makes him even more annoying. Just, yeah, just stay right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my other question was, um, well, because your character you played on Power Rangers, he's a frog. Yeah. But um, um, if you had... There's nothing wrong with no, frogs. No, he's... <laughs> yes. But if, what, if you had an animal that, like, you had all the, like, strength of its animal, what would you want it to be, like... If I could choose yeah, if you could the choose. strength of an animal, well, it wouldn't be frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would probably want to choose, uh, like, I don't know, a dragon. dragon you know? Yes, I was like, I was Asian for people, we, we, dragon. dragons, we're like always dragons. first. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, I don't know, I guess a dragon, but then if, like, no, it has to be real, uh, then I guess a tiger would be kind of cool, <laughs> you know? Thank you. But those are like Jason's yeah. characters, Tommy's, <laughs> one of the leaders. So. Do you remember when we were younger when uh, Wonder Twins you know, were on? <laughs> and then whenever they go, Wonder Twin powers, activate. They never did anything cool. <laughs> like, Wonder Twin, activate, form of a pail. Like that. And then the other way, form of water. And then would, the water would go in the pail. Yeah. It was like, come on. They should have been dragon and tiger. Yeah. yeah. If, yeah. if they were Asian, then. They would have said, <laughs> dragon, <laughs> tiger, <laughs> Godzilla, <laughs> form of Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, yes. see, that makes sense. Okay. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Next question. Hello. Hi there. So uh, my, my question was kind of similar to hers, but it was more of, you, you've played the, you've played, you've played a Power Ranger, you're, you're well known as Ichigo and Lelouch, and my personal favorite, Vash. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
my question was, what has been your favorite, like not not even voice could have been live action. What role, has been your favorite just character? In to, yeah. Um, that's tough. Um, cause I, I have been fortunate to be a part of a lot of really cool things and, uh, it's like choosing your favorite child or something. It's really <laughs> hard. Um, but one of my favorites would be, uh, Nero in Devil May Cry 4. And so I don't know if that, okay, so you know that one. Right. Um, and, and I, and really like with anime specifically with like Bleach or something like that, uh, it's already drawn, you know, it's already animated basically. And all I have to do is provide, and not that it's an easy thing, but I've, I'm just providing the voice. So if he's already drawn or animated to cry and scream or whatever, I've got to do basically that, you know? And so I'm kind of limited to the picture. With uh, Devil May Cry 4, it was a script. It was like working on a film or something, you know? You, I got to make those choices. So it wasn't limited to something that was already done. I, just, I was limited to what was in the script, basically, which, you know, really gave me a lot of freedom. Um, and I also got to go to Japan for the first time to do the motion capture as well, and that That's was cool. really awesome. That made it like really cool. And you got to be a kick-ass demon character. Exactly. Well, Who doesn't want to be that? <laughs> <laughs> Form of a demon. Yes. Boom. <laughs> Next, please. Hi, you, senpai. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, my question was, we're having a little King's game later, and we were wondering, Senpai, if you wanted to join us. I don't even know how to play that, but, uh... Of course you do, silly. Okay. <laughs> Please don't um, abuse the guests, thank you. you <laughs> what are the, are those chopsticks? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that well, extremely racist? We're both Asian. Yeah, we have Asian blood. Yeah, what is that about? Huh? Here, have a like, chopstick. Here, have some chopsticks, guys. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh, okay, sure. See you there. You'll have to show me. <laughs> what, what did she call you when she came up to the... She goes, hello. Senpai. Senpai, oh, yeah. I thought she said sunpot. And I go... Sunpot. My, instead of like yeah, my, some little people call me sun my little sunpot. You're my little sunpot. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey there. So mine is also a persona-related question. Okay. Adachi or you? Who do you prefer playing? Uh, um, Adachi does have lines, but in the animation, Narukami does have a lot of lines too. Um, <clears throat> Adachi was really fun to play. Mm. He's just one of the, because it's like you don't know who's not seen or played the game. Is there, no? Okay. Oh, you poor it's kind of hard to spoil it. You know, I, I want to spoil it for you guys. But uh, it's cool. Like there's a mm. twist to him and all that, and then you find out who he really is and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so that was it. Was definitely cool to play that character. I was, I mean, I'll just tell you, I was hired for the game uh, to play Adachi as I went in. I knew that right ahead of time. So I'm like, okay, I'm playing the uh, antagonist. And then towards the end of that session, they said, you're also going to voice the protagonist. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, what well, his vocal range or tone? And like, it's basically the same. And I was like, wait, what? And they're like, well, he doesn't really say much. He just shouts a few times and makes some punch noises or whatever. And I was like, okay, so it doesn't really matter. And so I did that. And then the second game came out, and he's talking a little bit. And I'm like, oh, boy. And then a few more games come out, and there's more and more. And then the animation, and it's like they're both talking. I'm like, wait, they sound sort of the same. What am I going to do? So I kind of changed it a little for the animation just so that they would separate more. But... Uh, I don't know, I guess if I had to choose, that was a long-winded answer for your oh, it's short, okay. simple question. But uh, Adachi, I guess if I had to choose one. Okay. Then, yeah. Persona! <clears throat> Izanagi! Hi. Um, I was just wondering, uh, who was your favorite voice actor to like work with? Um, that's, uh, gosh, I don't know. There's so many. Uh, Steve Bloom is awesome. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal is awesome. <laughs> Kylie Bear, uh, Todd Habercorn. Uh, I've worked with Vic a number of times. Um, there's, there's quite a few. Like, there's not, I can't think of some, one person that I'm like, I hate working with this guy. Um, <laughs> like, first off, it's, it's great to be working, really. Um, the only time I was like, I mean, it's not with a voice actor, but I know when on Power Rangers, we had to work with like animals sometimes and monkeys. That's not fun. Because they don't always do the same thing. No, And it's exactly. like, how long are we going to be here doing this? Trying to get them to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, ah, oh, come on. 
No, we actually, it's funny, just to interject, on Voyager, we had an episode where they were out uh, in the forest area and they had a hawk that was supposed to fly around and come back. Well, it flew around once and came back, and the second time when they did the second take, it flew and never came back. It just, just <laughs> kept flying. It was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm no longer an actor hawk. <laughs> I'm a free right. hawk. <laughs> so that was it. So. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. So, but no, they always say in Hollywood, don't never work with children or right. animals because yeah. they're so unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and so. that's true. Yeah. yeah. The monkeys were scary. Chips are scary, actually. Yes. Yes. You they, read they stories can go of them, crazy. Like, oh, yeah. Over. Ripping people up. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. They were in diapers, but they still were scary. Uh -huh. Oh, so they had the diapers on them? <laughs> they did have oh, diapers good, on. Because they yeah. are known to fling poo. They so, do. Yeah. Yes. When I was younger, I went to the zoo in yeah. like Kansas or something, and I was super little, and uh, I started making monkey noises, which you're not supposed to do. Uh -oh. uh, but I'm like, Woo -woo whatever. And yeah. then like the the it was a gorilla. I just got upset and was like running around stage like the things like <laughs> flinging poo it at did everyone. Flooping. Oh yeah, my yeah. Gosh. Like everyone went, and they're all mad at me. And oh, I'm like, you started the yeah. poo flinging. Yeah. Oh I was like, goodness. Yeah. It was awesome. All right, thank you. Yep, but you didn't know that, huh? That's right, yeah. huh? She didn't know that about Put Johnny. Put that on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Um, I have two questions for you. Um, one, if you could be any character, like one that you voiced or another one, who would you be and why? Who, if I could be anyone? Yeah, if you could be the... anyone. Um, any other character that he's already done? Then any, he is... Even one of his, too. Oh. Like anyone. Uh, oh, okay. Well, then uh, if I, I'd probably pick... Lelouch, um, yes. only be only yeah. Some of you are like, why? <laughs> <laughs> because he can control people, and yeah. uh, that just seems it's, it's easier to be like, I Lelouch, V. Britannia command you to make me a sandwich, and then yeah. you know someone would make me a sandwich. It'd be really nice. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good. And also, since you're a voice actor, um, how did you get started into music? Like, how did you start I Shine? <clears throat> Actually, thank you for that question. Um, I Shine is the name of my band, E Y E S H I N E. All right, thanks all five of you for listening to us. Um, <laughs> we haven't been to Canada that much. Only I think once we did an acoustic thing. But um, yeah, uh, we well basically it was after Power Rangers, and uh, at that time, uh, when was it like '97 or something like that? I can't remember. But it was really hard for me to get a job. Like, it was really tough, and it's maybe because I'm, I don't look totally Asian. Um, you know, I look like somewhere in between, you know, except in the mornings. Mornings, I'm like... <laughs> but, That's so but, racist, okay. I know, I know, I know, half of me is offended by that. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> But it was really tough for me to get a job, and uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I had this guitar in my, uh, that I was, I was told myself, I'm going to learn how to play. And um, I'd kind of gone through a little depression because I couldn't get a job, and I was like bouncing around from place to place. Not really homeless, but I didn't really have a home. Um, and I had like a broken cot and two bags full of clothes. And so that time, it was like just a really bad time for me, but I started to teach myself to play the guitar. And it brought me out of that funk that I was in. And in the back of my mind, I thought, it'd be kind of cool to have a band to do the same sort of thing and just have a good message, I guess. And uh, so I kind of just went around looking for other people that wanted to play. And that's really how it started. And it wasn't like, we're going to go save the world. It was just like, you just want to write music that makes us feel good and about whatever and see if we can connect with people. So you could have named it a cot and two bags of clothes, <laughs> but <laughs> instead you I, went with I Shine. Yeah, what no. is the, what is, How did I Shine come about? What was um, the... Well, uh, before that we had, like, it was hard to find. It's hard to think of a band name. I no, don't know definitely, if I agree. It's I agree. very tough, but um, we couldn't, like, we had one that was like, you, uh, any of you guys artists, like, you draw or anything like that? There's, okay, so there are a few of you. Okay, so you know how when you first start drawing and you're thinking like, wow, I'm getting good, you know, and you put it in a drawer and then like a few months later you open it up and it's like one arm's longer than the other and you're like, <laughs> what are you thinking, you know? And that was kind of the way we went, we started off with Partly Cloudy, okay? And that's that a really... That was Yeah, that was our first <laughs> name was Partly Cloudy. That's and so I don't know why. <laughs> it's... <laughs> But it's so clever because yeah, okay, gotcha. it would be a household name already. The yes. news would talk about us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we'd sneak in. No, but, Followed uh, by the band Chance of Showers. <laughs> okay. Right. But uh, so anyways, it, it dawned on me that it was a dumb name. And uh, I was watching uh, The Crocodile Hunter. 
And it was at night, and he was on a lake at night with a lantern, and he's looking for Crocs, and he's like, you got to look for the right shine. And he just kept saying that, and he'd dive in, you look at the right shine, and then wrap duct tape around their mouth, I'm saving them. And, uh, you know, he just kept saying that, you know, and it just stuck, and after that episode, I was like, oh, I shine, perfect. Wow. And so that's how the name I came I like about. that, I like yeah. that. You know what I also like? Backstage, when I walk up to Johnny, Johnny goes, so you half? And I go, no, I'm whole. <laughs> Talk about Asian, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? You didn't even see it because we already know. He's yeah. like, you half? Yeah. I, go, I go, nah, I'm whole. Because yeah. Yeah. the thing is, I don't look, I look like I could be half, though. You I could look, look like, like yeah, I could, could be mixed be up with something else. Yeah. Yes. But because Bosch is German, so you have German father and, right. and uh, Korean mother. That's is right. that right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what is your Korean mother's maiden name then? It's Han Young Chin. So the last name is Han then? Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah, hey, no problem. Okay, cool. Uh, just, next question. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. So you've played Adam on Power Rangers, and you came back for Overdrive with Once a Ranger. Would you ever consider coming back for, say, like, Dino Charge? Because isn't Jay Austin rumored to be re-signed with Saban? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if any of those guys are going back. Uh, I talk to a few of them occasionally, but I'm not like, hey, you going back to Power Rangers? Uh, <laughs> And it, it, it's not something that I'm like, oh, I want to go back or whatever. It was, I had a good time. And I've gone back a couple times for space yeah. and uh, for overdrive. And um, I wouldn't be opposed to it because I don't think, I mean, I, it's something I did, you know, and it's yeah. not, it wasn't a bad thing. I don't think there's going to ever be like, oh, it's like Gilligan or something. I, it's, I don't think it's locking me into it. But yeah. um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But uh, I, I have not been invited. I, I did get an email for the, uh, was the uh, Mega something? Super mega that one, yeah. And uh, that's how bad I am with it. Uh, but uh, I got an email and I responded to that email. They just wouldn't know if I'd be interested. They, it was a mass email to like a bunch of us. Yeah. And so I responded back, but I didn't hear anything. So that's kind of, that's how I communicate with those guys, the producers. <laughs> well, yeah, how you doing? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, but that was just your stepping stone. That was it, right? That's your first... Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a start, you know? It, yeah. it was my first gig. Yes. After Subway. 19, there you go. Yeah. 1993, is that right? Uh, Around 94. Then? 94, 94 okay. 94 is when I came on, Because yeah. it's very funny. We're very similar because my first gig was Burger King. You had Subway. I had Burger King. 94, I got cast on Voyager. 94, you got Power Rangers. Wow. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Half whole. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that was your question. Sorry. Thank Next. you. Yeah. I know the mic needs to be adjusted. Um, Margaret, where are you? They have a, okay. Um, <laughs> am I allowed to ask a question about Persona 5? Like, can we have any details about that? Are you going to be in it or anything? Um, you know? Some, uh, actually, I have no details for that. And uh, I can't really answer some things like that. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, or he'd have to kill you. I'm yeah, sorry. I would. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just I can't have, have that. We can't have in fact, I'm sorry. Fans. You have to die now, yeah. actually. Um, <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking that secret question. Hey. Yeah. hey. Uh, so first I want to go back to Devil May Cry 4. I just want to say, like, when I started playing this game, I was like, who the hell is this guy? This isn't Dante. I heard your voice coming out of him. I was like, forget Dante. <laughs> Anyway, so um, as a voice actor, you've been, you've had to say a lot of lines over the years. Have you ever like looked at a line and thought like, this, this is, this is just dumb, or like this is just too oh, yeah. silly? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, that happens so often, you know, where you're like, what? <laughs> Who wrote this? You know, are you the five-year-old? But uh, no, that happens a lot, actually. You know, and 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 uh, sometimes you just have to do it, you know, because you don't have a choice. Other times, you know, it depends on what the show is and how long you've been working on it, or if the director is kind of on the same level as you, it's like, yeah, this is dumb, let's change it, you know? Um, and so it really depends on the project, but it's happened a number of times. Um, All right, um, so can I get you to say something really dumb for me now that that's out of the way? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, can you say Ron Polanski, like you're really mad at him? Ron Polanski? That's just a dude I made up. Uh, okay. just. I'm angry at him. Yeah, you hate him. Ron Polanski! <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, no problem. I there might have been no... a slight confusion in that <laughs> anger. Just, just... <laughs> I just hope there's no Ron Polanski in this audience yeah. right now. He'll be like, oh my god, Johnny hates me. <laughs> All right, next. Hi. Um, 
Can you recite your favorite line um, when you were doing e Isaiah? I believe I pronounced that correctly. Oh my gosh, Isaiah, my favorite line. I don't remember hardly any of those lines. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while. Um, gosh. You have to understand, as actors, when we, <laughs> whether it's voiceover or not, we do it, and then it goes whoosh, right out. Yeah, yeah. you kind of have to let it Unle go. Yes. Especially Unless it's bizarre. Is there, was there a bizarre line that Isaiah had to say? I can't say? think something of really anything freaky. really bizarre. I mean, I remember no. his laugh when he's jumping on the like, girl's cell phone. How's that uh... sound? How's the laugh go? All right, well, I'll do the laugh. Okay, do the laugh. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm bored now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi. Hi there. Uh, so one of my first animes was Wolves Rain, and I absolutely yeah. loved it. Me and my best friend kind of talk about it now and again, and her favorite character is Kiba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what was your favorite like quality Kiba had? Just, I mean, for me, it was like the... It, that was like the second thing I think I worked on, uh, voiceover-wise. And uh, the first was uh, Vash and Trigun, and he's goofy and wild. And then when I went into the audition for, um, for Wolf's Reign, it was so cool. Like, have you guys seen Wolf's Reign, some of you? Yeah. You know, you know that opening scene when he's on the snow and the music is like yeah. freaking amazing, and then he's got that bit of dialogue that he's saying there? Like, that's, that was the audition. And uh, they played that, and I was like, this character sounds so cool. I don't think I can do it, <laughs> you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, I just remember, like, if it, what really, what, if it wasn't for the music, if they didn't have the music playing there right before going into it, then I don't know if I could have nailed it. But that music just really, just, I was able to just zone into it. Yeah, he was pretty badass. Yeah, it was, that was one of my favorites, actually. It's one that they didn't really market very well. There's not, like, a bunch of, like, shirts and toys yeah. and whatnot, but... A really great story. Thank you. Thank you for asking that. Next and if you haven't seen it, go see it. Thank you. <laughs> One person was like, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Hi. Um, I wanted to know how it felt to be the only ranger on Operation Overdrive to do their own stunts. <laughs> I, it, I mean, it was cool. Because, like, the others, I guess after, like, somewhere down the line after our season, they all, like, had powers and could do things. Um, but, yeah, ours was very old school. We just, like, fought. <laughs> we just punched things and they'd blow up. Um, <laughs> um, because that's what happens in real life with us. That's why we got the job. Um, but, yeah, no, it was cool. It was kind of special to be able to, all right, cool, I get to do some Stuff. Yeah, it was weird because I was like, I was watching and I was like, stunt double, stunt double, stunt double. Oh, Johnny doing a flip, another flip. Oh, he's going through a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was really cool. I yeah, just, I you, you could tell when it goes over to them and because they, the stunt guys are always covering their face, you know, like that. It's it's a little obvious, but they have to do it that way, you know, just because the other guys. But that's how you know who, it's a stunt guy. They always do the, the face. Yeah, cover. they're they kind of cover. They're clever at it. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you can tell. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey again. Hey. Uh, so I was wondering about the um, animes that you watched because you mentioned that you watched Persona for the animation. I was wondering if you had like a particular favorite in general or if you had like a favorite line from one. Because I really liked when Narokami just says like, I might be dying when he gets his finger bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a favorite one just in general? Uh, yeah. Just, um, well, uh, Akira was one of the first ones that I saw that I knew was like anime. Yeah, so getting that role was sweet, but uh, um, what was it? Uh, Vampire Hunter D, Bloodlust. Did you guys uh -huh. see that one? That was awesome. Or Ninja Scroll. Did you guys see Ninja Scroll? What, Ninja you, you did a voice in that, too? I did not, no. Oh, God. I did not I work was on like, that one. I know, but that was when, oh, I, was like, I, when I first saw it. I was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ditto. Okay. Um, yeah. Hi. Hello. Hey. Um, I was wondering what your favorite moment uh, being Nero was. From Don't May Cry. My favorite moment? Like, as, as the, the character? character. Um, or if you have a funny story of being the voice actor as well, please tell. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't really have a funny story, I don't think. Uh, it, uh, I mean, that was weird. It, it, was, very, it was really cool, but uh, I mean, because we, we went to Japan and we did the motion capture, and the, 
it, it was just weird because they had like ca cameras on your face, you know, that follow you around, and that camera always looks really weird. And uh, you have the, you know, the, it was basically spandex sort of, and they had like shiny balls all over. Um, and uh, just doing that was fun. I think character-wise, I liked. Uh, I I was able to add a couple of things. Like I remember one of the characters stutters. And so I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make fun of that in this line. And so I made fun of his stuttering. Um, but I, I really liked, uh, I guess, it's, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil anything at the same time, but, um, you know, his love interest, I yeah. guess, you know, when she's kind of taken away and just that whole thing when he's inside and just going crazy. Just that punching the ground. Yeah, 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 that was a lot of fun. Cool. Thank yeah. you. No problem. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Hello again, senpai. Hey. <laughs> so I have two related questions. Uh, the first one is, you've done a lot of variety in what you've done. You've done voice acting for video games and anime, and you've done live action. Like, what is your favorite to do among those kind of things? Oh, man, that's... Uh, it, it just depends on the role, really. Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard because they're, they're all, it's all really fun for me, you know? It's all play for me, you know? Like, I... I'm, I think that's all I've got is like the creative thing going for me. Like, I'm not saying that I'm dumb, but math, forget about it, you know. Um, but uh, gosh, I don't know. I, maybe I would, if I had to choose one thing, then I think maybe I would choose music only because that's 100% from me instead of like, if I'm working on something else, those things are great, but it's someone else's idea that they wrote and I get to be a part of it, which is awesome. Um, but with the music, it's like I get to create it and then you know, so if I'm playing and people know a certain song or whatever, then there's that connection is real, you know? Okay. Uh, the other one I had was for Persona 4, you did voices for both the game and the uh, animation. So I was wondering, like, how was that very different? Or did you have, like, do a lot of changes when you did one after the other? Or? On the animation, you mean? Yeah. Um, the, the games, yeah, I mean, it was harder with the animation only because. I knew that they're going to be talking to each other, you know, the antagonist and protagonist, and yeah. I was playing both. And so I knew that I had to find a way to, at first I was like, can I just play one and you hire somebody else? And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and so I, I basically, there were certain things that I did with Adachi in the game, and so I basically chose one level of him. That was like, I basically took Adachi this way and, and Narukami this way, just so that they weren't really in this area. So there's there enough separation, you know? And, and I got to bring back the, the game Adachi at the very end when, in that confrontation with each other, uh, when he goes crazy. Um, yeah. Thank you. Sure. Hey. Hi. Uh, I was actually, uh, I, I appreciate like your roles in like almost everything I've seen you in. Uh, like I've Thank watched uh, Trigon. I've, watched um, a Lelouch in the uh, Code Geass series. I've watched um, pretty much a lot of things like I didn't even realize you were in into like afterwards, <laughs> which shows us some awesome range actually. But uh, my, my, my biggest question was, is there like any role that you've actually kind of wanted to do but never got a chance to do? Like uh, I know that like recently fairy tales getting translated or some other stuff is like recently getting translated and is there like any roles you've tried to get into but never actually got a chance to? That, I mean, that happens all the time. Yeah. Audition for, you know, you audition for as much as you can and it doesn't always work out. Um, but uh, I guess Naruto, in the beginning, um, the, I, before I started working at the studio, um, this specific studio, I knew that they were doing Naruto and I knew it was fairly big, uh, anime-wise, and so they had like, I don't know, 15, 20 male characters. And so I asked somebody who knew uh, that it was going on over there and, and, and uh, if I can get in and do some auditions. He said, sure, come on in. And I was like, really? I could just go? <laughs> okay. And so I show up and uh, there's like, like I said, like 15, 20 characters, male characters. And they're like, just pick, you know, which character you want to audition for and then, you know, we'll give it a shot. And, and I was just like, <laughs> I just took them all, you know, I was like, I'm going to try all of them, you know. And so I went in and as I was, I was working on each one of them, uh, you know, the, the, the guy who's engineering, directing, um, was like, that was amazing. Oh, you nailed that one. Wow, that was just like that, you know? And so like every one of them, like every single one of them, I was like, well, I must be doing good. If, you know, I was like, I'm definitely gonna get one of these characters. And I didn't get any of them. 
<laughs> and, uh, and months go by, and then I get a call to come in and do some, uh, to audition for Bleach, and I got that role. And eventually they're like, oh, here are some random ninjas that die. Like, I die like 20 or 30 times in Naruto. Um, I'm from like every ninja village, but I die. But, uh, and so I'm in there, and they finally give me Genma and then, you know, and Sasori. But uh, Mary was, the director was asking, he's like, Johnny, why didn't you audition for any of these other characters when they first started? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I did. But uh, yeah, but that sort of thing kind of happens so, so often. Like you audition for all sorts of stuff. Be, as an actor, you just have to be good at rejection. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I hope for like the best for you in the future because you're an amazing actor. Thank I you so much. It. I appreciate Woo! that. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny. I think you've just given me my band name now. Random Ninjas That Die. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Young Bosch. Thank you. No problem. Okay, next. Uh, hi, I was wondering, actually, uh, a couple years ago, you did a film with Daniel Southworth. I think it was called Broken Path. I'll admit, yes. I've only actually seen the final fight sequence. A friend showed me online. It's phenomenal. Uh, was it fun, or did it affect it at all, doing that uh, with another four Power Ranger outside of Power Rangers? Like, how was that with... I actually met Dan working on uh, Devil May Cry 4. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, we went to Japan, then I, I met him, and then um, and, uh, uh, Koichi Sakamoto, who did a lot of uh, the Power Rangers stuff, um, we, we were going to do a film, and we needed somebody to play the villain, but we needed somebody who could do their own stunts. Yeah. Um, and so it was a very fast, like, 17-day shoot oh, God. on a ranch, and it was long days, and it was, it's all fighting. Yeah. I mean, you could probably watch the whole thing on YouTube, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was hard, but it was yeah. a lot of fun, definitely. And it was shot in Texas. It was super hot. And uh, I'll tell you a quick story about it. Like, there's, we were shooting that final sequence yeah. is in this barn, and it was, like, next to this ranch, and this, the neighbor let us shoot there. And so we're in there, and uh, they would wash my, my, my costume, I guess, in uh, well water because there's just well water and it kind of had this weird like fungusy moldy <laughs> smell to it you know and so after you know it and it wouldn't get everything out and so like uh, you know as I'm like fighting like I would just start sweating and it was it was so bad like it smelled like maybe I had a jar of pickles and just poured it on myself <laughs> and and wiped some like baby diapers and started burning a tire fire and danced in it um, and so that was the smell I was giving off um, in that little barn. And I remember, like, in this, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I could even smell. You know, if you can smell it, it's bad, right? And I'm like, oh, man. And uh, I remember I had to do a scene where I hugged the little girl, and the girl, she was like... <laughs> and I was like, no, no, you're supposed to love me. And, just like... <laughs> and the lady that owned the barn walked in just to see how everything was going in. She was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. What is that smell? <laughs> I was like... <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so that's my story for that well, one. Thank you very much. Sure. Yeah. Hey, Johnny, uh, a quick question for you. Uh, you play a lot of roles, like action-y roles, Vash, Nero, Ichigo. They're a little goofy. They're the hero. How was it to play Tono in five centimeters per second? Oh, um, totally different. Yeah. And uh, much mellower. Um, but I love those those kind of things. They're, you know, they're kind of sad. Um, but, that, you know, that's one that, I, I mean, occasionally I see somebody has it, but I wish it was out there a bit more. Oh, I um, agree. You know, it's kind of like when I worked on uh, Fragile Dreams. Uh, it was just like a really great story in a game. And, you know, some people see it, but not as many people see it, you know, or even know that I did it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I... I I really liked it. I had a lot of fun. A lot more people need to see Shinkai. A lot more. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I think we're winding down here. Um, yeah, we are. So let's try to get all these questions, though. So make them quick so we can get through them. Hi. I, uh, I apologize. My, I'm starting to lose my voice. Um, oh. Is he okay? Yeah, she's all right. She just uh, tripped over some cosplay. No worries. <laughs> yes. Um, in my group of friends, a lot, a lot of people know your voice for like the Ichigo voice or the Lelouch voice. Um, they don't really realize when I bring up my favorite anime, Oreka 7, that you're in there. There we go. <laughs> right there. You and her. <laughs> yeah. Um, so 
I was wondering if that's like a voice that you have to be like in the zone recording it to actually do, or if it's like if it's one of the ones that you can just bring on. No, it was yeah. It, it took some to get to get into that, especially earlier on in the beginning, because um, I had ended up. I actually replaced somebody else who was cast in there, and uh, it, it's a long story. I don't want to. I can't make it long. But uh, you know, the Japanese side wasn't happy with it because it sounded too low, and so they wanted to recast somebody who can pitch it up pretty high and sound younger. And so when I was in there, they were like, "How?" pitch it up make them sound younger keep going keep going and they pushed me into a place where i was like are you sure i'm just gonna sound whiny or whatnot and they're like no no it's okay and so it was, it was hard because it was the first time that i really had to like find that place or that voice in a character and kind of stay there and then really discover how to get the emotions out in in such a limited uh spot you know um but it was a lot of fun the show is it's a great show it really is and uh it was fun even coming back for the other stuff when he's older. Yeah. Um, but definitely, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, since we're kind of on the topic, everyone's been bringing up favorite animes. Mongolian Chop Squad is my absolute favorite anime yes. manga series. <laughs> hey. Thank you for being here. I thought it was the only one in the world. There's not enough volumes, damn it. Um, the role of Saku. Did you approach that role because of your background as a musician? Were you approached for it, or how did that come about? They approached me on that, yeah, and uh, they uh, basically, um, I don't remember if I auditioned, but I know that uh, they, they might have sent me a few uh, mm -hmm. characters, or it was with Funimation, so I can't remember exactly how it turned out. They might have just actually gave me that role. Um, and then, yeah, I just went out, I was like, sure. I'm not gonna turn down work, um, but then I get there, and I mean, the story's really great, mm -hmm. you know. And you could, I could really relate to it just because I'm in a band, and you know, they play in really dingy places. It was like all the things that happen in a band. It was pr pretty cool, you know. Yeah. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys, let's power through these. Everybody, Question, quick. Everybody was so tall. Um, you, you had mentioned that you were part of a martial art. Uh, I'm a martial artist myself, and a lot of the teachings I take into life, not just during the class. So I was just wondering. What, what, what have you taken? Like, it's been mentioned to, uh, this afternoon that you've done your own stunts. Has that been brought more into your live action stuff or even your life in and of itself? Um, Just the, the teachings? The teachings? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it definitely taught me discipline, um, patience. Um, I mean, there was a, I mean, it really, I mean, I was a, I was a young punk kid. I got in a lot of fights. I had a lot to prove when I, I mean, I grew up, kind of like your story, I grew up in Texas and there weren't a whole lot of Asians where I was growing up, so there's a lot of fighting. Um, and I felt like I always had to prove myself. That really kind of changed things for me. Once you gain confidence as a martial artist, you know, at first I was using it. I was like, oh, now I know how to beat people up. You know, and then I would do that and then it, <laughs> eventually I'm like, I, I don't need to do this. You know, you eventually go, I, I'm better than this, you know. But yeah, I definitely. Thank you. Oh, oh, don't trip. That's okay. A lot of people are tripping in this panel. Okay, come on. Uh, you said you're from Texas, right? Yes. So by your standards, is it very, very, very cold outside right now? It is cold. Yes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. As it my is phone says, it's like one degree Celsius. Yesterday so, yeah. was fine. What happened? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day when you look out the window. It's like, oh, it's nice. Americans do not understand Canada cold. They just <laughs> yeah. don't. That's it. Simple as that. Doesn't make sense. Thank you, though. Next question, please. Yeah. Um, I have two questions. If you only want to answer one, that's okay. Um, Let's, we'll take one. Thank you. Um, well, then, I guess it would be, out of any Power Ranger, which one, like, which Zord would you say you would want to have? Or would you just keep your mammoth? Um, I mean, the frog is pretty cool <laughs> as a zord. Um, Power-wise, though, I mean, the dragon zord would be pretty cool. Um, but uh, if I could be, like, the pink ranger for one day, that might be... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was joking, uh, but okay. Thank you for your question. Thank you. And the final question, sir. Okay, this is kind of be a weird one, but uh, what's the strangest thing you've ever found Googling yourself? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't really... I stopped Googling myself a long time ago. Um, 
And uh, I don't, I can't think of anything really, really strange. Uh, I mean, I, no, I've read a fan fiction before of one of my characters, and that was the only time in the, that I will never read another one. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I see, usually it's just a really bad picture of me on Instagram, <laughs> you know, and I'm always on Instagram now. And you can find me on there or Facebook or Twitter, but uh, I will be posting. In fact, I want to get a picture of all you guys. Ooh, there you go. Hey, let's, let's yeah, see Yeah, yeah, I'll take one with you. No, 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 no. You're, you're in it. Oh, oh we do a selfie? selfie yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my. All right. All right, look crazy, guys. Awesome. Nice. All right, I'll post that um, on Instagram. Johnny is signing autographs from three to four over at the autograph area. And this is what I just thought of. A live action episodic. You, me, and Todd Habercorn. Uh -huh. We're lawyers in Hawaii, and it's called Half, Half, and Whole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. That is it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put Thank your hands you together for so Johnny Young Bosch. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Alcon.